Today is Christmas morning breakfast. Can you believe it? We finally hear another year has passed. And today I am hosting Christmas morning breakfast. And this is a seasonal thing that comes up every year, the first Friday of December. Hope to see you here every day. Now, my co-hostesses are... just had a walk down to the bottom of the garden after visiting the shops. I know I don't usually put myself on camera, but I will go on camera today just so that you know who I am. And my full name, Ariella Anastasia Janjawati, for those who do have trouble with my name. So just walking up from the creek at the bottom of the garden and it's a bit of fun trying to hold this thing, a selfie stick, while I walk. Well, now we're going to make some special hot chocolate. And what's going to make it special? Well, we're going to use Nestle Quick Chocolate. And we are going to use just regular whole milk. Now, you can use non-fat or whatever you want or almond or whatever. But to make it special, and this is important, just put a drop, I mean a drop, very little peppermint flavoring in here and some miniature marshmallows on top and now you've turned a hot chocolate into something special for the holiday chocolates all made oh it was so yummy now let's put the finishing top there it is all the beautiful miniature marshmallows on top of the hot chocolate mm -mm -mm. with a little bit of peppermint inside this was awesome. You have to try it. Don't forget, a little bit of extra peppermint goes a long way, so don't use too much at one time. Very little. I used a little spoon and put just a drop, and I mean a drop. Here is how you make it special. Hope you enjoyed this How to Up your hot chocolate to something special with a little bit of peppermint and a little bit of miniature marshmallows on top. Maybe I want a little bit more than a little bit on the marshmallows. Now what you can do for your drinks, you can have anything you want. But what I have done here, I have tomato or V8 juice in the small glass, eggnog in the beautiful glass in the center, and I have hot chocolate with peppermint and marshmallows on top over here. Now, I thought it looked really nice and festive for the Christmas holidays, but you could do this instead. Or you could just have the V8, a cold glass of milk, and of course, your hot chocolate with marshmallows on top. It really doesn't matter. Whatever makes you happy. Now let's go to see what we're going to put together for today's breakfast. We're starting our French toast with the eggs that I purchased over at Stater Brothers. 
and then we got some milk out of the refrigerator to also uh, make this. I got a bowl out of the uh, pan cupboard and here we're ready to start. I also got my cinnamon raisin bread it was awesome. You need to try it. It is great. I never used this one before and I really am so glad I tried it out. I loved it. And then I also had cin ground cinnamon and ground nutmeg. I just took a little bit in to your taste as much as you want. And I used real butter for this recipe too. I think it gives it a lot more flavor. I preheated my frying pan so it was already hot. Then I placed my butter inside of it and then when it was melting I got my bread that had already been soaking in the egg and milk and placed it in the frying pan. Mm -mm -mm. Does not that look good sizzling. That bread was so dense and so good for this French toast. This is something I'm going to repeat from now on. This bread worked out great for this recipe. And as you can see, I browned one side and turned it over and did the other side. I didn't let it get too dark, but when it was toasty, I took it out. After taking it out, I placed it on my plate, put a little bit of butter, real butter, and then placed another piece of toast on top of it. It was so good. I couldn't believe how well everything turned out. I also got fresh fruit to place on top of it. I got uh, blueberries and raspberries and strawberries. They were so good and yummy. Here in California, you can get fresh fruit year round because this we grow a lot of our own. And I used Cool Whip also. Then I placed it all on top of my French toast. Does it not look yummy? And I couldn't believe how good this was. I also put some Cool Whip on top of that. I used no syrup at all on this, just the fresh fruit and the Cool Whip. It was plenty sweet enough for me and here it is all finished does not it look yummy all this wonderful french toast piled up with fresh fruit on top and then of course some cool whip my favorite yum yum instead of using syrup i love this hope you enjoyed so colorful and beautiful to go with my eggnog and hot chocolate. As you see, it's going down. I keep drinking it. It was so yummy with a little peppermint in it. Well, until the next time, hugs and kisses from Grandma Sandy. Hope you enjoyed this Christmas morning breakfast that we put together. Such an easy, breakfast to cook for Christmas morning. Took just minutes to put together and mm -mm -mm, good, good, good. As you can see, I'm digging in and eating it. It is so great. And there was no syrup on this at all because of all the fresh fruit and the Cool Whip. It's plenty sweet enough. This bread I used was so good. I don't think I've ever made French toast with it before. But I think this is something I will probably buy in the future a lot. Because I was surprised how much of the egg mix it's it soaked up. Because it's a pretty dense bread. And it turned out so good. This was a real winner. Hope you guys check it out and try it in your own home. This would be great for any special morning or just some great Sunday morning you want to do something a little special. Don't have to wait for Christmas morning, you know. This was so good with all the fresh fruit. Now, I do live in Southern California, and we get fresh fruits and vegetables here every single week. So I know a lot of places around the country may not be as lucky as us. But I'm just sharing what you could do if you have any kind of fresh fruit seasonal where you're at. If all else fails, you can always use frozen but fresh does taste so good. 
Thank you all for stopping by for Grandma's Christmas morning breakfast. I appreciate all the love and support from all of my awesome friends and family that watch these videos. You have made my channel grow by so much from all your love and support is so greatly appreciated. Please go check out all those awesome creators that joined in today and see what they came up for their Christmas morning breakfast. Now I know grandma doesn't do big and fancy, but you know how it goes. Grandma does cook pretty good what she does cook, but we do this simple at my channel. Now I was going to make three different versions of breakfast, but this video ended up being so long. I decided I'm going to do two more videos in the next week or so because I've already shot a lot of video. But I didn't want to make my video so long that you guys get bored with it. So I decided just to stay with the French toast since I do love it so much. And we will update on some more breakfast, special breakfasts for December. And you'll have another one up next week. Hugs and kisses to all my awesome friends and family. I appreciate all the love you show. Please have a nice Christmas holiday. And remember, you don't have to spend all day in the kitchen. This was less than 20 minutes to put together. Just find something easy and make. As you see, I'm eating every bite. It was so yummy.